probably one of the things I missed most when we moved to Florida from the north are the trees. Watching them go from green to gold, then brown in their winter sleep. I'm reminded of the famous poem by the young man who was killed in 1918 in the Battle of Marne at the age of 31, Joyce Kilmer. I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree, a tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast, a tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. Hello and welcome. This is Sandra Hart. Thank you so much for coming back again. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And I hope you will enjoy today's video. Today's video is all about a simpler life and making your home a very cozy place. You know, we are entering into fall and into winter. All of us have kind of been in lockdown for a long time, so our home is becoming more and more important to us. At least I know it is to me. And I am going to tell you how to do this with Huga. Now, Huga has been kind of popular in the last couple of years, but actually it has been around probably since the 1800s. And it's the Danish word for happiness and a sense of well-being. Today I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do that are just so simple that you can make yourself a cozy environment and a cozy home and that in turn will elevate your happiness. The first, I'm going to give you seven things. The first thing that you can do is to do what I do and enjoy the elements of nature. Bring nature into your home or enjoy it outside. Take a walk through the woods. Enjoy the pleasure. If you're on the beach, take a walk along the beach, but just enjoy outside. Working with flowers, working in your garden, anything that is relaxing and where you can look around and experience nature. Also, what I do is I bring nature into my house. I have a collection and a great big pot of things that I have taken actually from the beach that have fallen down off of palm trees in the parks and in the streets and I have brought them home and I've made an entire collection of things from nature and things from outside that I have collected. I bring plants in. Down here we have orchids, but I bring as many plants as possible into the house. Not only are they nice to look at and give a cozy home, but also a lot of them purify the air that we're breathing. So bring nature into your home in whatever way that pleases you and whatever way you can. The second thing we can do is lighting. Create lighting in your house, whether it's through candles, soft lighting around to give you a very soft atmosphere. I um, have a diffuser and I put lavender and certain oils in my diffuser and I use that and my diffuser changes colors. And I also have a Himalayan salt lamp. This is so peaceful and so beautiful and gives such a calming atmosphere and a light into your home. It has ions that help purify the air and they are you know, you can buy them on Amazon for about $16, up to as much as you want. But a Himalayan salt lamp is so uh, environmentally pleasant for me. Not only gives soft lighting, but it also helps 
with the air quality in the house along with my plants. The third thing I've mentioned is um, aromatherapy. You can use aromatherapy also through your candles, get aromatic candles, and I use my aromatherapy through my diffuser, uh, putting different uh, scents in it, different uh, aromas that fill the house. And especially now, we're going into the holidays of Thanksgiving and Christmas, so you can find wonderful Yankee candles are really very good. Other candles that are natural candles, uh, Seagrove candles that I use uh, on a regular basis, are candles that not only give a wonderful warm lighting, but they give you a sense of coziness when it's the days now that we are off of daylight saving time and we're going into um, the Eastern Standard Time, you know, the nights come on us faster. So anything that we can do just to make our homes a little bit cozy and nice really helps. Another thing uh, that personifies huga is textiles. Try to vary the textiles in your home whether it's a great big knitted blanket, perhaps a velvet throw, uh, bulky sweaters, uh, something, uh, maybe lambskin, something that's very soft. So experiencing various colors and textures in your house also gives a very interesting environment and a very calming environment. There's nothing nicer than curling up in a cozy corner with a blanket and reading and perhaps with a hot cup of beverage that you have that is part of the huga environment self-care relaxing and a comfortable home environment i absolutely love curling up under a blanket and reading a book in the winter because down here it does in the evenings get kind of cool and in uh, December and in January and sometimes in February we will have cold snaps where it gets down to freezing or almost freezing so I always take advantage of those days when it's a little bit chilly to curl up and read with a hot beverage of my choice so that is another thing you can do to have a, a warm huga environment. I like to make soups. There's nothing nicer in your home to smell the smell of maybe a soup cooking, the aroma of the soup, or maybe baking cookies, um, cinnamon and spices. All of those aromas that fill your house add to that warm and cozy environment. And that is also the way the Danish, they invite their friends over and they have a wonderful home cooked meal along with conversation. And all of that is part of the Huga self-care and cozy home effect. Today, it is a little bit hard because of the way the, we are isolated and we all have to wear masks. If that continues, it's still possible just within your family or if you are alone, if you have a pet, to curl up and enjoy your pet. Do you know what I do? I have a recipe and I'll put it down below. I make dog biscuits in the oven for Sophie uh, and, and it, the nice aroma of the dog biscuits while they're cooking also. That is, I think aromas and smells and feels and textures of things are really important to all of us. And sometimes, you know, we're in such a rush and we're in such a hurry that we forget about all of these sensual things that are important to us, that the Danish have always embraced. The last one I kind of touched on before is a little bit harder because of coronavirus and the fact that we can't socialize and congregate the way that we have usually been doing. Spending time with your family is really important and your friends. Now because of the coronavirus we've had to change things a little bit but at least with your family even if you are your family is a pet 
you can curl up and, and you can even have a cozy meal by cooking something, uh, having a glass of warm beverage, whether it's an alcoholic like wine or something. I don't drink alcohol, but warm cider, anything that gives you a sensory pleasure of comfort and the feeling of you're not such a hurry and you're slowing down a bit. I, I really feel that the, the basic concept of this is just actually being aware of your senses. I mean, we have been given these senses of sight, hearing, smell, touch, all of these things I think are part of the Huga way of having a cozy home, having self-care and relaxing and being more aware of the moment that you are in right now. With everything that's going on around us, I mean, all of us have, have been affected. I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. So it's a self-care that we have to foster ourselves. We can be master of our own happiness and of our own cozy environment. Another thing that I really like to do that has to do with atmosphere is I have music on all day long, whether it's classical music, whether it's uh, spa-like music, whether it's you know, uh, any kind of music, Jimmy Buffett, whatever it is. I just feel that music also is that other sense, our hearing. So if we are satisfying and being self-aware of our visual around us by nature and by things that you bring into your home, your sense of smell by aromatherapy, candles, cooking warm meals, your taste, of course, is that. And your hearing would be music. So we have all of these senses that are heightened and we are aware of them right now, but we're not in a hurry. We have slowed down a bit. And that is something that has really helped me, really has. I mean, I have this book that I've had for quite a while, but now that I am have been having more time just to sit and read, it's Huga, Unlock the Danish Art of Coziness and Happiness by Barbara Hayden. Now, I, I recently checked on Amazon and there are quite a few books like this. So if you are really interested in this concept of self-care and well-being and creating a cozy home, you can look on Amazon and buy one of the books and I can put the link to this book down below this video. Today, I think for our own health, our own mental health, and our own self-care, Huga, the Danish sense of well-being and happiness, is certainly something that we all should think about. Thank you for joining me today for my Huga video. And I hope you'll read more about it and look into it because it is a wonderful way, especially going into these winter months when most of us who live in the four seasons will be hibernating a little bit more than we usually do. It's a certainly a way of life that if you practice it, you will find that you are happier and that you have a, more of a sense of well-being each and every day. Thank you and doing Huga will help you do something wonderful for yourself today. Don't forget to reach out to others and of course share the love. Thank you so much for joining me today. I read all of your comments and uh, Sophie and I want to wish all of you the very best. <music>